FAS was first discovered by two doctors in the US in 1973. How serious the condition is depends on how much alcohol a mother drank during pregnancy. It is thought to affect as many as one in every 500 babies born in the Western countries. was discovered by two doctors in the US in 1973. How serious the condition is depends on how much alcohol a mother drank during pregnancy. It is thought to affect as many as one in every 500 babies born are affected in Western countries. The more you drink when you're pregnant, the greater the risk you are taking for your baby's health. When a pregnant woman drinks, the alcohol goes through the placenta to the fetus via the bloodstream. The fetus's liver isn't fully formed, so it cannot metabolise the alcohol quickly enough. At this stage, the baby has a high blood alcohol concentration. It therefore lacks oxygen and the nutrients needed for its brain and for the organs to grow properly. White matter in the brain, which is responsible for speeding up the processing of information, is sensitive to alcohol, so when a mother drinks, it affects the development of her baby's white matter. Fetal exposure to alcohol can lead to a known cause of intellectual disability. One condition is called fetal alcohol syndrome, and it affects the way a baby's brain develops. Timing is another factor in the development of FAS. A child's facial features are formed during six to nine weeks of pregnancy. Scientific evidence shows that mothers who drink during that time are more likely to have babies with the facial deformities associated with FAS. Children with FAS have distinct facial features including small and narrow eyes, a small head, a smooth area between the nose and the lips and a thin upper lip. They also show the following symptoms. Hearing and ear problems, mouth, teeth and facial problems, weak immune system, epilepsy, liver damage, kidney and heart defects, cerebral palsy and other muscular problems, height and weight issues, hormonal disorders.